ファウルでツーボールツーストライク変化球いい当たりだ中段まで持っていきましたドラフト1位ルーキー村上プロ初打席でツーランホームラン At the 2017 Nippon Professional Baseball League draft, all eyes were on first baseman Kotaro Kiyomiya, a phenom who set the Japanese high school record with 111 home runs in just three high school seasons. Kiyomiya was hyped up as one of the greatest young talents in generations, prompting seven franchises to select him with their first round selection. The Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters would go on to win the lottery, forcing the six losing teams to go right back to the drawing board. But unbeknownst to the Tokyo Eco Swallows at the time, this would be a blessing in disguise, as the Swallows, Yomiuri Giants, and Rakuten Eagles selected a 17 year old first baseman by the name of Munetaka Murakami with their redraft selection. Murakami hit 52 homers across his high school career at Kyushu Gakuin in Kumamoto, but his school didn't qualify for any national tournaments in his second or third year, so he didn't receive much national media attention. Regardless, the Swallows would go on to win the lottery. At the time, general management and fans alike were quite disappointed in missing out on Kiyomiya, but as the nation would soon find out, Murakami was the actual superstar of the draft. As of the end of the 2021 season, Kiyomiya has only hit 21 career home runs, and he didn't even play a single game on the first team in 2021, while Murakami has already hit 104 homers while winning a Rookie of the Year Award, Japan Series title, and MVP award in the process. In fact, Murakami became the youngest player in MPB history to reach the 100 home run milestone on September the 19th, 2021, at just 21 years and 7 months, surpassing a 32 year old record set by Kazuhiro Kiyohara in 1989. Kiyohara would go on to hit 525 home runs across his 23 year career, placing him fifth all time. But he actually never won a home run title, and his career high was only 37 homers, whereas Murakami has already won a home run title with a career high of 39 homers. Murakami's home run pace is actually unprecedented. These are the top five home run leaders among active MBB players, and here's how many homers they had before their age 22 seasons. Now, here are the top five home run leaders of all time, and here is how many homers they had before their age 22 seasons. As you can see, Murakami's current standing is matched only by the aforementioned Kiyohara. Murakami has homered every 13.91 at bats so far in his career. So, if he gets 7,500 at bats for his career, which is a conservative estimate for a 15 to 20 year career, that would place Murakami fourth all time just ahead of Koji Yamamoto. Of course, this sort of projection is completely useless. There are injuries that could cut his career short, he may go over to Major League Baseball down the line, or he may have just peaked very early in his career. Who's to say he can keep this up for another decade or two? But at this point in time, Murakami has not had any significant injuries playing in every single game for the past three seasons, while his counterpart Kiyomiya has had various injuries that have hampered his development. And if you look at Murakami's all around game, he's made huge improvements every year. In his 2019 Rookie of the Year campaign, Murakami set the single season strikeout record for a Japanese player with 184, putting him only behind Ralph Bryant on the all time single season strikeout board. He was truly a three true outcomes machine. He either homered, walked, or struck out in 49.6% of all plate appearances. If you add hit by pitches, he was TTOing more than half the time, drawing some parallels to Aaron Judge's rookie season in MLB. But since then, Murakami has gradually lowered his strikeout rate while increasing his walk rate even more. In the shortened 2020 season, he still led the league in punch outs with 115, but his K rate dropped dramatically from 31% to just 22.3%. And in 2021, he got it down even more to 21.6%. That's still a little bit worse than the league average of 20%, but it's getting awfully close. And he's also led the league in walks the last two seasons, as his BB percent has jumped up from 12.5% to 16.9% to 17.2%. That sort of discipline at his age is incredibly rare and it's enabled him to have an on base percentage above 400 the past two seasons. And Murakami now says that his goal in 2022 is to hit 300 with 40 bombs and 100 ribbies. And as a cleanup hitter with all the protection he has in the Swallows lineup, that's definitely possible. And on the field, he's made the transition from first base to third base. And while he still has some defensive work to do there, it definitely makes his production all the more valuable.
So it's obviously way too early to start thinking of Murakami as an all-time great, but it's never too early to give a player the recognition he deserves. And whatever happens, Murakami already has a pretty big head start on his competition. It's just crazy to think that any of the 12 teams could have drafted Murakami back in 2017, but they were too caught up in the hype around Kiyomiya. And it's also worth noting that the Giants could have had both Kazuma Okamoto and Murakami, two of the best young power hitters in Japan today, had they won the redraft lottery. We are truly lucky to be witnessing the rise of such a talented superstar. He's an extremely team-oriented guy, and his ceiling is just off the charts. The best may still be yet to come. Special thanks to my patrons, Chris J, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Pack Rat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Pang, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Ua Bird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Char Aznable, Juan Jose Sanchez Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garavay, Yuki's Submarine, Kud, Gem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglund, and Eduardo Granados. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, please check out patreon.com slash baseballcosmo. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more NPB content in English.